We are here with, with, they said the soul, the spirit of the Tribe Called Quest in the field, Mr. Jerobe. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? How you doing, bro? Excellent. Hey, man, so, so we've seen a lot of emotion and a lot of, a lot of stuff, the behind-the-scenes story with what's going on. Did you, did you imagine that when they said we were going to come and do a documentary that is that, that, that all, stuff, all that stuff was going to come out? Um, as bad as it looks, you know, we're four brothers. I mean, we, you know, you know how that is. We fight, like, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you know, we love each other. You know what I mean? And I can say whatever I want about those guys, but if you say something, it's a problem. So, I mean, did, did doing the movie, though, and, like, just, just being in the interview process and being asked questions, did that help any of y'all, like, deal with, with, with some of the issues, just bringing it to the forefront? Absolutely. You know what I mean? Um, it's not the way that we would have liked these, our little issues to be ironed out, but this held up a mirror to us, and I think that we, you know, yeah, we definitely came closer after, after this movie, after, after this experience. And now as you look at all the artists and producers that quote, you know, Tribe as, as being their inspiration. And I know you're walking through the film and you look at St. Albans and say, you know, hopefully one day, do you think one day they, they may recognize y'all, put y'all on that wall at St. Albans? Um, that would be a dream come true. You know what I mean? Because like I said in the movie, that wall is what motivated us to, you know, to be the type of people we are now today. You know what I mean? Seeing the greats like Duke Ellington, James Brown, and Roy Campanella, and all these people live in our neighborhood. You know what I mean? So that's definitely a, a good thing to strive for. Tell us what's going on with your culinary art career. I, mean, you, I know you said you're the, the chef and you're doing everything. What's what's going on? You got a restaurant? What, what, you, what you doing? Um, no restaurants now. I'm working on a restaurant now. Um, also working on a cooking show um, and, the, and a couple of other things, you know? Where can your fans follow you and find out what, you, what you're what doing? You Do you broadcast? Um, yeah, you could always follow me at Jerobi1 on Twitter. Um, that's the best place to find me. I, you know, I, I talk stuff. I let you know what I'm doing, and everything's there. We hope that Tribe gets another album, but otherwise, we still got classics, man. We still got classics that we'll always appreciate and that will live forever. Thank you very much. I feel it's bizarre for us to even be still mentioned after, I don't know, 13, 14 years since we haven't made a record. It's it's amazing. I just feel blessed. Yo, Black Street TV. All right, we here with Fife Dog. A legendary member of Trial Call Quest. We had a chance to talk earlier about about the whole film and everything. Uh, a question I asked Jerobi, like after doing the film, did it help you guys deal with issues, being just asked questions and talking about it? I know it wasn't all about beef with you guys, but did it help y'all deal with some issues that may not have come to the forefront without the film like at that time? You know, what's, what's funny with that question right there, we still haven't been together to even really talk about the movie. This is going to be the first night. And even with that being said, it's only three of us tonight. You know what I mean? So we'll eventually get together and talk about it. But we have solidified a couple of things without seeing a movie together. You know what I mean? So that's a step in the right direction, most definitely. Now, everybody always asks, would y'all make another album? But I mean, in the film, you talk about riding a train to, to, to the other side of town and writing those rhymes. Do you think you could still get the same I mean, I mean, it would be a different inspiration for you now, but you think you could get in the same creative space that you did back then with that part of your life? You know? Yeah, as long as, I mean, and plus we're writing on Blackberries now, so it's all good. Um, as long as the beat is hot, I'm always going to write, you know, no matter what, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I can still get into that mode, absolutely. I, I hate to ask, man, but the fans and everybody requested when I put it on Twitter that to ask you if you'll, if you'll bust something for them. Now, if you don't want to do it, it's all good. I spit that 192 slash Linden Boulevard shit. Roll dice, get nice, build with the guard shit. Sip on the Guinness shit. Talk about this rhyme shit. Carmelo's on the Knicks, but then Tony got the going shit. Keisha Cole fly fan with without the gap and shit. Ice Cube barbershop. Damn, Eve such a fly chick. Here you go. All right. I appreciate it, man. No doubt. All right.